My name is Rick Gunn, and I'm a writer and photographer based out of South Lake Tahoe, California. In the last 20 years, my photos have appeared in countless publications, including the New York Times and USA Today. In 2005, after 14 years as a daily newspaper photographer, I got on my bicycle and rode 26,000 miles around the planet through 33 countries over three years. It was more than just the riding of a bicycle around the world. Along the way, I had a profound transformation. I rode across America and Europe, and then along the Silk Road into Western China, up and over Tibet, down into Nepal, through India and Bangladesh. Then finished through Southeast Asia, Indonesia, Australia, and New Zealand. And it wasn't until a good year and a half where I got into the developing world countries, Uzbekistan, Kyrgyzstan, you know, China, Tibet, into Nepal, where I really began to be fully present and engage myself with what was before me. There was no turning my head away from what I was seeing. Ultimately transformed by scenes of war, disease, and poverty, all this seemed to culminate in a slum on the streets of Bangladesh as I watched two young girls sipping from some industrially polluted water. It was at that point I recalled the words of Helen Keller who said, I can't do everything, but I can do something. From that point forward, I rededicated my journey and my time off the bike to the greater good, volunteering where I could, or shining the light upon others who were making a difference along the way. My work began in Thailand in an AIDS hospice and was followed by work with a bomb extraction unit in Laos. What came next was mine victim rehabilitation in Vietnam, then the teaching of English to impoverished school children in Cambodia, and enacted a peace project with an Iranian cyclist across Malaysia. From there it was on my hands and knees planting a thousand trees in Borneo, and then finished by doing tuberculosis work with a clinic in war-torn East Timor. With each of these experiences affecting me at the deepest levels, I returned back home. Upon my return, I sorted through 52,000 images, reducing them to 350 and combining them with a handful of uniquely emotional stories to create a unique and powerful presentation entitled Soul Cycler. The message behind the Soul Cycler presentation for schools is simple and universal. It illuminates a first-hand account of the attainment of a dream and the value of both physical and emotional health and its greater effects on the globe, and what it means to overcome inner and outer obstacles and accomplish goals. It brings to young minds an increased knowledge of the world's cultures, customs, beliefs, and traditions, an update on world issues and how one might get involved. It emphasizes the ideas of sustainability, environmental conservation, and cultural tolerance, and the values of volunteerism and service to others. All this with spectacular, thought-provoking images and stories from remote locations around the globe. And in the last four years, I've delivered that message to thousands, both at home and abroad, to students, businessmen, groups, organizations, everyone that could use a transformation or a shift. So I hope that you'll consider bringing me in to speak to your group, organization, or school, because I'm passionate about this subject, and I think after I'm done, you will be too. Thank you. I didn't really choose this story. This story chose me. And there was a certain point on the journey where I had to tell this story, and that's what I have to do now.